panahon na para i-uninstall mo ang cracked version ng presentation software mo sa church. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you a free software for your visuals or presentations sa church. You have to check this video out. <laughs> If you are new to this channel, allow me to introduce myself. I am Kyle of Church on a Budget PH. And the aim of this channel is to help churches become efficient and effective. Now, if you are here meaning interested ka sa presentation software at gusto mo nang i-install yung crack version kasi pagod ka nang maging pirata. So for sure, nandito ka kasi naghahanap ka ng solution and for that, kapatid, I am so proud of you. Today, I'm gonna show you a free software na magiging solution sa presentation niyo sa church and it's called Free Show. O diba? Nasa pangalan na. It's Free Show. So right now in our church, we are using Pro Presenter you know, software. If you are familiar with that software, this is industry standard and church standard software. Most churches use this. The likes of Bethel, Elevation, even our main there's sa Alabang, which is New Life Main. They use the Pro Presenter software. But this software is not for free. In fact, it will cost you a significant amount na price itong software na to. So for us, nung time na yun, nung binili namin, since mababa yung dollar, nabili namin siya at less than 20,000 pesos. But I think ngayon kasi mataas yung dollar, so more than 20,000 pesos siya. Now, for most churches, medyo mabigat na yung pera na yun. So we want to have a solution that is more affordable. In fact, gusto natin... Free. So here it is, free show na software. This is very similar with Pro Presenter. When I tested this software out, I was very happy with what it can offer. And so I'm gonna show them to you one by one. In fact, there are features here na wala sa Pro Presenter. And it makes me really happy kasi it's very convenient for us church people. So let's go right to this software right here. Free show. So what you can see here is the default view of free show. When you open it up, ito yung magiging itsura niya. What I did here was I created a meeting or a folder or an event. So this is how you can do that. Punta ka lang dito, right click ka lang dito sa part na to. Mag new folder ka, you might wanna call it um, Sunday service. Ganon. Or whatever and then or new project kung gusto mo na date ngayon. So um, July... 29, something like that. Okay. Pero ako, gumawa na ako ng sarili ko dito. So, let's explore what I did here. So, ikiklik mo lang yan. Yun. What you can see is I did a basic na template for a service. So, it's countdown, worship, and then word. Iisa-isayin natin to kung ano yung mga ginawa ko dito. The first thing I did here is to create sections. So, I did countdown, worship, and then word. This is just some organizing strategy para mas madali mong tignan yung project mo. So, how do you do that? You just right-click here and then section yung i-click mo. So, it will create a new section. You will rename it here, sample. Lagay ko na lang dyan. Yan, and then you have a new section. That's, pwede mo siyang i-drag papunta sa kung saan mo siyang gusto mapunta. Yan. So, ngayon... Remove ko na lang yan. Now, for the countdown video, dito tayo. You can actually add video. Now, how do you do that? Punta ka lang dito sa baba. Ito. Okay, may shows, media, audio, overlays. Kiklik mo lang yan. So, kasi video yung gusto natin i-add, we're just gonna click media. Yan. So, very important, please organize all of your media files. So, ang ginawa ko dito, tingnan mo dito, naka-content 102 free show. So, kinumpile ko yung lahat ng media files ko dito sa content 102 free show na folder. So, nandito na yung countdown video, may gradient photo ako dito, and then gradient video. Now, it's very interesting, when you hover your cursor dito sa files na to, it will give you a preview kung ano to. Tingnan mo. Yan. Tapos yung gradient photo, of course, wala siyang preview si photo lang. But yung video... Yan. Nakikita mo yung preview, konti. So, how do you add it here? Very simple. Okay? We remove ko muna yan. You're just gonna drag your video. Yan. Drag mo yan. Jan. And then that's it. When you click that one, okay, mapipreview siya dito. And then when you actually press play, boom, lalabas na yan sa screen mo, which is here. Right? You can now see that there. So just like Pro Presenter, if you click your content here sa left, yan, pre-preview siya dito. And then when you actually click it, yan, tsaka siya lalabas dito. 
Yan. So don't worry kung may lalabas dito sa preview kasi etong part na to is only your preview. Nandito yung final mo na presentation. Okay. How do you clear your presentation? Clear it all. You're just gonna click here. Clear all. Bam. Ma-off na yan sa preview mo dun sa projector or sa TV. Now, going down to worship. Yun, worship. May nilagay ako dito na lyrics or song which is praise. You know? Team song ng mga churches ngayon. It's praise. I did some things here. Nilagyan ko na siya ng background. Okay, nilagyan ko na siya ng format ko. May background yung words, tapos black yung background, tapos naka uppercase siya lahat, tapos naka space yung ano, yung lines. Tag-tig to two lines yung lang yan sila. So I just programmed it here. So paano ba gawin yun? Right click mo lang dito sa side na to again. Right click and then new show. Pag kinlik mo yung new show, you can just type the words of the song. For example, um, of course, praise. Yan natin. Then you can choose a category, kung song ba yan, scripture, presentation, of course ngayon, songs tayo. And then you can just click quick lyrics and then write the lyrics of your song. So as you can see, may guide siya dyan. Yung sections ng song dapat naka-bracket para malaman ni Free Show na sections yun. So naka-bracket siya. Tignan mo, verse, okay, naka-bracket, and then line 1, line 2, and then enter mo, and then line 3, line 4, and then chorus na naman dito, naka-bracket, and then line 2. So ganun siya. So try lang natin. Bracket, verse... Okay, and then for us, standard namin sa church is yung lyrics namin is talaga naka capitalize or naka uppercase. So I'm just gonna do that here para mas madali yung buhay namin. So praise the Lord, O my soul. Oh, chorus pala to, sorry. Chorus. Something like that. Or let's just say, let everything that has breath. Ano ba yun? Refrain? Just for the sake of example, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Okay, so for the sake of example, ito lang muna yung lalagay natin and then click natin tong new show. As you can see here, lumabas na siya, nandito na siya, oh, praise the Lord, oh my soul, let everything that has breath. But... What we need to do now is to reset muna yung settings na nilagay ko. So, i-clear muna natin to and then click it as default. So, praise the Lord, O my soul. Yun. So, that is its default. Now, how do you do this format? Itong ginawa natin dito para maging ganito siya. Now, dito lalabas yung power ng templates. So, click mo dito sa template. So, marami silang template dito. Kunwari, magta-try tayo ng template. Kiklik ko itong big. Okay. Pag kinlik mo yan, na-change siya agad. Kita mo? So, if you click that, yan. Ipa-follow na niya yung template dito sa free show. Pwede din big bold. Okay? Yun. Ganon. So, diretsyo na. Or, if you want this box right here, pwede din naman. I think mas magugustuhan nyo to. So, let's just go for this. Again, you can customize and create your own template. Be creative. Go crazy. But for the sake of this video, gamitin na lang natin yung template na nandito na sa free show. Kasi parang gusto ko to. Okay, if you wanna edit your um, visuals more or your templates more, you can actually go here. Balik ako sa ginawa ko kanina na ito. Uh, yung custom ko na template. Which is yung default. Ito yung magiging default ko sa worship. Ira right click ko to. Tapos edit. Yan. Tapos, you can edit everything here. Yan. So, that is the template for your text. Now, how do you do the background? Kasi kung trip mo na black lang, wala namang problema yun. Pero baka meron sa inyo na gustong mag-backgrounds. So, what you need to do is go to your media. You can do it this way. From here, click mo yung lyrics mo, ikiklik mo yung gradient video. Right? Pwede mong gawin na ganyan. But the way I would do it is I would drag this video papunta dun sa lyrics natin para pag kinlik ko yung lyrics, automatic na siyang may background. So how do you do that? Okay, drag mo siya dyan sa lyrics. Boom. So automatic yan. Pag kinlik ko to, boom. May background na siya agad. So, lagay natin to. Itong praise number 2. Drag natin dito sa taas. Kunwari, Galing tayo sa countdown video, piplay ko to. Bam. Skip lang natin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. 
Yon. So, my background na siya agad. So, that's how you do it. That's a basic na thing na you can do here. So, let's move on to our word. Clear na naman natin to. So, ano ba yung ginawa ko dito sa word? Ang ginawa ko dito sa word is a simple photo. And I have a pointer here. Make sure that your visuals, videos, photos are all in 1080p. Kasi, kumuha ko ng photo na gradient dito. Tapos, eto yung nagiging kinalabasan niya. Kasi, hindi siya 1920 by 1080 yung resolution. So, crop yung dito na side, oh. Ang pangit tignan. So, pag nilagay ko tong verse na to, hindi siya full, so cropped siya. So, wanna make sure that all of your videos na nandito sa media file niyo are 1080p. Pwede naman 720 si stretch niya, pero pag mali na yung ano niya, ratio niya, like 4 by 3 ito, I think 4 by 3 to eh. Hindi siya mag-fit dun sa output niyo na 1080. Kasi yun yung standard natin. Another thing that's interesting here is pag may video kayo. So, look at this. Ito ah, nag-add ako ng video for the word namin. Okay, just say for example... And yung link na kinuhanan is YouTube, right? So, for example, yung presentation software mo na connect sa computer, mabilis yung internet connection, tapos mabilis yung internet connection nyo. You can actually add a video here from YouTube mismo. How do you do that? Media pa rin tayo, pero punta tayo dito sa online. Kita nyo yan? That's my video. Pwede kong i-click, i-drag yan dyan. Okay? Tapos i-click ko to. Yan. That's my video. That's from YouTube, ha? And then, ikiklik ko yan, ipiplay yan dyan agad sa presentation natin na software. How interesting, how cool is that? Hindi mo na kailangan mag-download. But, I suggest, i-download nyo yung videos nyo para safe. Pero if, grabe yung trust mo sa internet connection nyo, kasi, you know, naka-100 Mbps kayo, whatever, go ahead and do online videos. This option right here is perfect kasi binigyan nila tayo ng option na maging quick yung response natin. Kunwari, may gusto si pastor na video na ganun, give me a video about a bird na nasa tree kasi gusto ko maging illustration yun. Eh, di, punta ka lang sa YouTube tapos ilagay mo yung video dito. Now, quick guide, how do you do that? You just click add right here and then copy paste mo lang yung URL from YouTube and then rename it here. And then automatic na yan mag add So that's how easy it is to add a video here. Pwede din Vimeo. Tapos, there is a uh, an option here na may Pixabay. So, you know, free na mga backgrounds. So there are a lot here. So pwede ka na na kumuha dyan. Tapos yun yun yung yung background mo sa visuals mo. That's very convenient. Now, just like ProPresenter, my ability siya to have multiple outputs. Now, how are you going to access that? Punta ka dito sa settings. Tapos dito sa settings, may output siya. ba? Okay. And then, right here is our main output. So, ito siya. But you can add another output. You can just click add here. Yan. And then, nakaka-add ka na ng isang output. Yung output mo, you can customize that. For example, um, stage screen. Ito, it's a very important output. Yung visual na nakikita ng uh, mga tao sa stage. This is this one right here. Ito, papakita ko sa inyo yan kung paano ko sinet up later. But going back to the output, ito yung magiging stage screen natin. So, you're gonna click choose screen and then look for that monitor kung saan mo siya gusto i-connect and then you're just gonna connect it there. And you're, so you're gonna click it here. Ngayon kasi wala akong extra monitor so hindi niya nakikita. But stage screen is right here. Tapos pwede din na mag-add kayo ng whatever. Um, for the sake of example, lagay natin na uh, NDI uh, lyrics. Uh, lower third. Lower third na lang. Lower third. Pwede yun. So, baka nagtataka kayo, ano yung NDI? Uh, it's actually a way of routing your visuals or presentation through an Ethernet cable. So, hindi na ako gagamit ng HDMI or SDI. Ethernet cable lang, making sure na yung uh, computer nyo ng presentation tapos yung broadcast computer nyo is nakakonect sa isang network. And just enable this NDI. Click transparent. Choose your frame rate. Yung normal naman sa atin is 30. Tapos you can send an NDI format dun sa broadcast nyo na computer. So, the options here are endless. Very nice talaga siya. Here are other things that you can do. Actually, marami pa. Pero for the sake of this video, I'm gonna just show you the things that I will use here. For connectivity, here's a very interesting thing that you can do. Now, dito papasok yung iPad natin. Kasi pwede siyang remote control. You can actually use your iPad as a remote sa software na to. So here's what I'm gonna do. Pwede niyo siyang gamitin para makontrol wirelessly yung computer niyo. This is crazy right here. So, tignan niyo ha, remote show. Kiklik ko yan. Tapos isiscan ko yung QR code. And then I'm gonna 
put the password here. Okay? Yung password neto can be seen here. Ito, remote show password. It's 2899 for this example. 2899. So, pag-click ko yan, I'm gonna see this right here. Now, pag pumunta ka sa shows mo, or wait lang, sa shows yan. Or project, tapos pumunta ka sa praise. For example, this one. Ang lalaki ng text, so hindi mo siya nakikita well. So, ang ginawa ko dito is nilitan ko lang siya, yung font. Yan, para makita ko siya lahat. I-click ko to dito, tapos mag-change siya. Okay, walang daya yan. Ha? That's, that's real time right there. So, as you can see. Right? Yon. So, pwede mo siyang i-control wirelessly. Di ba? Mm, grabe naman to. Pati dito, LDR pa rin. <laughs> Pwede mo siyang gawin. So, this is a very convenient way of doing things. Now, what is the advantage? Pwede mo ito ibigay sa pastor mo, tapos makukontrol niya yung slides niya. So, for example, punta ako dito sa Word. Kasi kung kunwari, kiklik ko tong Word. God loves you. Or John 3.16. Nalipat tayo sa Word by just clicking it here sa iPad. So, that's a convenient way of doing that. Saya. What's another thing that we have right here? Sige, move on tayo sa isa pa. Stage show. Ano ba tong stage show? Sige, click natin. Tapos tignan natin kung ano meron dito. Scan yung QR. And then, boom! What you have here is your stage screen. Kita mo yan? So, kukontrol natin dito ah. Tapos kiklik ako. Oh. Again, real time to. Balik tayo sa praise. My God. Ang bilis. Okay, para walang daya. No? Tignan natin to. Yan nyo ah. Boom. Click ko yan. Boom. 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 Ang galing. So what you can do here is actually kung wala kayong ano pa, stage screen na na monitor as of the moment, um, di maglagay na lang muna kayo ng lyrics stand dyan sa front ng singers nyo, just ilagay nyo to dun or whatever. E di may stage screen na kayo on a budget. Wala nang kable, wireless, pwede na yun. That can also be an application na pwede nung gawin. So, it's very convenient. Good job, free show. Okay, down to my final thoughts. Number one, if you do not have budget yet to buy a presentation software na license talaga, please go ahead and transition to free show. This is a free software that is a very effective and efficient solution for presentation at churches. Number one, because you are getting this for free. Tapos number two, this software right here has all the necessary things that you need for presentation at churches. In fact, I challenge you, master this software and evaluate if you really need ProPresenter or all of those paid software na kailang na trendy ngayon. If you master this thing and you use it for basic setup at churches, I think this is enough para ma-serve yung needs ng churches natin. So, you have come to the end of the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please go ahead and lay your hands on the subscribe button so that you won't miss any video that I'll be posting soon and if you like this video please go ahead and click that like button below until it turns blue so that you will be supporting my channel again this is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective see you guys in the next video and peace